What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're looking to have some fun with it. We're rocking out with a Life Orb Kieran White team that also features Safety Goggles Ho-Oh. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you, seriously, I'm begging you. Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button for your boy. But like I said, we're trying to have some fun with this team today. It's an off meta team. We're using two restricted mods that don't really get a lot of love it on the rank ladder. So I think this one's going to be a fun video, and hopefully, we can end up grabbing ourselves some wins. Starting off in that top left corner for the team preview, we got the one and only Kieran White. And I feel like this Pokemon is very, very underrated, especially because I love his typing so, me so much. It is Dragon and Ice. We got the Turbo Blaze ability alongside with the Life Orb as an item. And then we're rocking out with Freeze Dry, Draco Meteor, both for Stab. And then our coverage move is going to be Earth Power alongside with Protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be Grim Snarl. And this Grim Snarl is here for support, but not personally my favorite. You guys know I'm a big fan of Screen's Grim Snarl, but this one is pretty much Speed Control and Special Defense Drops. We got Prank as its ability, but Beery Berry as its item. And then we got Fake Off of Flinches, Scary Face to slow down opposing Pokemon, Fake Tears to drop their Special Defense. And last but not least, we're rocking out with Foul Play to do big damage on physical attackers. Middle left is going to be Landers, Intimidate Landers. It's phenomenal. Really, really good in Dynamax format. Really, really good without Dynamax. I just, I just think it works well on any single team in this format. It's got Intimidate. It's got the Lumberry as its item. And then it's rocking out with Fly, EQ, Rock Slide, and Protect, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Landers. Right next to him is going to be our lovely Defiant Thunderous with the Assault Best. Gotta love this Pokemon, especially if you can get him in at the right time. If you can get this Pokemon in up against an Intimidate Mon, it is pretty much GG's. You can Dynamax him, he's gonna have that attack boost, he's just gonna be able to steamroll competition. He has Wild Charge, Fly, Brick Break to Break Screens, and Foul Play to do big damage on physical attackers. Like I said, I really like this moveset on this guy, and I really like the setup. Cannot wait to showcase him, and hopefully we get to trigger that Defiant ability for you guys. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be G-Max Blastoise. And Blastoise is just super, super good. I feel like he's great in all different situations. Can really come in and uh, control the battle, especially with his G-Max move because it's super, super strong. It does passer damage for four turns straight and pretty much does at least half health to every single Pokemon throughout that four, four turns. So, like I said, can't go wrong with that. Torrent ability, Wakam Berry, so we can eat up an electric shot. And then the moveset is going to be Hydro Cannon, Fake Out for Flinches, Protect, and Blizzard for our nice, lovely coverage move. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our second restricted mod, and that is going to be Ho-Oh. Another restricted mod that gets no loving on the rank ladder. And it's pretty it's pretty reasonable to why he doesn't. He's not that good, but I like to get him in here and try to grab some wins for you guys. It's got Regenerator as its ability, so every time we swap out of battle, he will come back with more HP. We got those safety goggles as an item. And then last but not least, we're rocking a pretty cool move set of Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Burst for Stab, Iron Head for Coverage. Last but not least, can't go wrong with Protect. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? We got that rental code right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this off-meta Kieran White and Ho-O Series 12 team. Not going to lie, I'm a little scared for this first battle. We're going up against a very, very strong team with Zassian Kyogre, Rillaboom, Tornadus, and Incineroar. And last but not least, he's got Diggersby. It's only off-meta Pokemon, but still, that thing is a beast with a huge power ability. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I think Intimidate could work wonders for us, but I feel like we might want to lead our Defiant Pokemon. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Kiram could be pretty good with the Freeze Dry. I really do like that Freeze Dry on him. So, you know what? Let's rock out with him. I'm thinking of going Grimstrong this turn one. Just in case he wants to lead a physical attack, we can drop a Foul Play. We can also Scary Face. We can slow down. And we do have that uh, Fake Tears to pair up with this special attacking Pokemon. So, I really do like Grimstrong and the Kiram White for the lead. And then back in Pokemon, gotta be Landers. Works so well. And I think we're going to rock out with Ho-Oh. I do like Ho-Oh here. I do like Ho-Oh, but we know he's going to bring Kyogre, and that's going to be our only problem. That's going to be our only problem. Do I bring Thunderous? Hmm. Could bring maybe bring Thunderous over Landorus. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like that. But at the same time, it's like... I want I want that Intimidate for that... Uh, but that's asking. So you know what? We're going to lock in our gut our gut team, what we wanted first. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But like I said, I'm a little scared. But hopefully we get to grab ourselves a win here. It would be awesome, especially to get ourselves for first win up against a very, very strong meta team. Like I feel like Zassian and Kyogre are like best buddies. Those guys are the best two combo in the game. They're, it's just too strong. It's just too strong. Kyogre by itself could sweep teams. And then just having Zassian in the back end and take out Pokemon. Easily the best one-on-one -on -one Pokemon in the game. This guy's going to go into Kyogre alongside with... We're not, and I think I'm just gonna scary face, right? Scary face has gotta be our play. 
into a freeze dry. And then we gotta hope he's going for a water spell because I think he's just gonna tailwind. I do have fake out ready to roll, so you know what? Let me see the speeds. Let me see the speed on Kirim. Let's see the speed on Kirim. Check summary. Let's check the summary of this dude. 161, that should definitely outspeed that Kyra. Unless he's Choice Scarf. Unless he's Choice Scarf, which I do not I do not believe he's gonna be Choice Scarf. So you know what? We're just gonna go here. I'm gonna drop a little fake out over onto you, and we're gonna get rolling from there. Hopefully it's not Dynamax. That, that would that would kind of stink. It'd be Dynamax that Kyra. That would kind of stink. But I, I just don't see it. I just don't see it happening. I think he led this maybe going to a tailwind or something. Yep. Okay, cool. So no Dynamax comes out here. We get the flinch on you. My Kiram should outspeed him and Free Shot is gonna poke. So we're hoping he's going into maybe a water spout. Because it won't do as much damage now that he's below half health. So come on, show me a water spout. Show it to me all day, baby. Water spout. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love that turn. We love that turn. So look at that. Easily soaked up. Thank you, Mr. Freeze Dry. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Um, I'm thinking he's gonna set up the tailwind at this point. I think he sets up the tailwind, so if I just go into maybe a uh could protect, but I think he wants to try to maybe get off an origin pulse here. I don't think he I don't think he knows what we're playing here. I think we just go straight into a scary face here. Put that thing back to normal. We're gonna guess he's tailwinding. Yep, there's a tailwind. Praxis should come out here now. Slow down him with the scary face, and Kirim should outspeed yet again. Right? Gene's calling the plays. Gene's making some good plays. I do dig it. I do dig it. Right? Yeah, I should outspeed now. 100%. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my game. Gene's making some great reads right off the rip. Kyogre out of the battle. So that's a solid, a solid start for us. Really, really good making some solid reads for us. Reading that he's not going to Dynamax, and then reading he's going to go into the Tailwind and stay in with Kyogre. So we just scary face it, put it back to normal, and then cure him out speed. So, loving it. Because if you guys did not know, scary face is minus two for uh, speed, and Tailwind basically acts as a plus two to every single Pokemon out on the team's field. So he's basically plus two now. So if we can go into a scary face on any of these guys, we could get rolling. But we already know what he's going to do. I already know what he's going to do here. I do already know. I think he's going to go into a... Uh... I'm just going to protect you. I have to protect you. And do I scary face or do I foul play? Get off a mean foul play. I kind of want to start slowing down that Zacian. I'm going to protect my Kirim. We're going to go from there. But I do think Zacian's going to go for a Behemoth Blade over onto my Kirim slot instead of my Grim Snarl. He is super effective onto both. But I'm kind of just trying to waste out these rain turns and then maybe Dynamax and Hello. We'll see. We shall see. We still have the Landers in the back end who can work really, really well. Maybe could hard swap in. Could be nice. So Scary Face is going to poke here. I'm going to slow you down. We're going to hope that Zacian's going after Kirim, right? Icy Wind comes out. Wow. He's ripping with Icy Wind as a Tailwind is out on the field. Dude plays no games. He plays no games. All right, we have fingers crossed for the uh, Zassian going after my Kiram. We are protected up. Let's see what he does. Make the right call. Okay, so beautiful call by us. Um, hmm. So we just go into... We could freeze dry. Go into an Earth Power. I'm not really worried about that Tornadus too much. I really am not. So I think I'm just going to double down here. I think I'm just going to double down. That's my call. He's going to Dynamax the Tornado. So he's in a sticky situation where he has to Dynamax the Tornado. We love to put our opponents in situations like that. We love to put our opponents in situations like that. That leads me to think he has like Incineroar in the back end, right? A Pokemon that he doesn't want to Dynamax. Incineroar, maybe even a... Uh, maybe Rillaboom. We'll see what he does here. He protects. Great protect by him. I'll give it to him all day. That was something I was hearing up. And we'll see what he's going into here. Maybe a speed boost? Maybe a speed boost. Let's see this dude's call. What's he going for? Yep, there's the Airstream. Probably into Grimmy. Yep, Grimmy's gonna go down. Okay, so Grimstar goes down here. I feel like we just bring out our Intimidate here. We have to bring out an Intimidate Factor. And I might just Dynamax right off the rip. I want a Dynamax here. But I'm scared of the Behemoth Blade. I really am. I'm scared of that Behemoth Blade. Earth Power's gonna poke here. Does Rain stop? I feel like Rain should stop very soon. It should stop back. I kind of want to bring out Ho-Oh. Really want to bring a ho. We know this thing's rocking Max Hailstorm. That would be four times super effective on the him. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do here? I'm ter I don't know what to do. I'm gonna bring in ho -Oh here. I'm gonna bring in ho. -Oh. I am gonna bring in ho. -Oh. I kind of want to get this weather rolling. Cause ho is the one Dynamax Pokemon that can soak up a Behemoth Blade. I love it. So let's see the weather. How long? Much longer? One more turn left in the weather. I could change it now, which I might do. But in this case, you know what? I'm just going to go for... Do I go for an Earth Power? Or do I go for a Freeze Dry? I'm going to go for this Freeze Dry, and I could just protect you this turn. 
which is what I'm gonna do. But Kiram's gonna go down. Actually, actually, I could go here. And I could just flare. Good flare. And I could save Kiram if I wanted to. But now nah, I think we're I think we're thriving here. I think I'm with this all day. I was gonna max guard or just protect this turn. But I really like where we're sitting. I really do like this. Okay. The Dynamax coming out from our ho oh, our lovely, our lovely Firebird. I wish the rain would have been done. I wish the rain would have been done because this isn't really going to do too much damage considering ho is not that big of an attacker. And it plus, it is in the rain. So, well, Dynamax ho oh, look at that bulkiness. 414. Things playing no games. And his stats for bulkiness are amazing. Airstream's flying through here. Probably on a ho oh, right? Yeah. On the ho oh. We soak that up all day. So, we get an easy soak. He's going to Behemoth Blade across into my Kiram. He's dead all day. He's dead all day. Okay. Okay, okay. There's Behemoth Blade, and this is tough news. This is real tough for us. I'm trying to think of what we should go for here. So we're gonna we're gonna go into our Lando. We go into our Lando. This range really doing me dirty. This range really doing me dirty. We're gonna go into our Landers. We are gonna get Intimidate, which is gonna be huge. Especially up against this powerful Zazian. This isn't gonna do too too much to him. I actually did a lot more than I thought it would. It's good to know. It's good to know. And I could double guard here if I wanted to. I could double guard. Helen's gone, but he, he's fine on the speed boost due to his max air streams. I could double guard if I wanted to. This will waste out his last time max turn, but I'm not, like you said, I'm not too scared of that Pokemon. Hmm. What is my player? Do I just get rid of Zacian? Do I just get rid of Zacian here? I think I have to get rid of Zacian. I might just protect and then go into another flare. He might protect his Ashian. Actually, let's just go into a rock slide. I'm gonna rock slide. I'm gonna go into a flare here. He has minus one, so I really don't see him taking out my landers in one shot. Let's see what he does here. Unless he doubles down, he protects. I did think he was gonna protect, so that's why I did not protect my Lando. And I went to the flare on this slot because maybe, just maybe, we can do enough damage to take this thing out. He goes for a hailstorm. That's actually scaring me, man. Can we eat that? Do not. That's four times super effective. Okay. Tough news here. Dang, our flare's not going to do as much now. Ouch, dude. We were sitting in such a good position. Battle number one. Mmm. Mmm. Dang, man. That hailstorm really did me dirty. And just take out. Oh, we really needed that. We really needed that. With the flare, it could have it taken him out, but he's still alive. Okay, what can I go into here? What can I do? What can I do here? I'm trying to think of what I could do to maybe, maybe win us this battle. Maybe something that can win us this battle. Could try to get a speed boost here, just take him out. So what's this thing gonna do? Icy wind? He's not gonna hurricane. He's probably just gonna slow me down, so that might not matter. I might just go for a defense boost here. Just in case he has a physical attacker in the back end. Could really make us bulky. Could really make us bulky. Let's see. That's so tough. That is tough news for us. That is so tough. Really went to that hailstorm. Did me dirty. And I knew we had hailstorm. Like I said, I was saying that early. This thing's gonna go for a tailwind. That's fine. He's just taking speed. Like he already has it. That was kind of a waste of a turn. He's just gonna go for a behemoth blade. It's not very effective, but I am curious to see how much damage it's gonna do. Because it is double the uh, Dynamax Pokemon. And he is uh he's even now. Oh my god, it does so much. For no reason. For no reason it does so much. Steel spikes flying here. Okay. How could I how could I do this? How could I win this? How could I possibly win this battle? We have we have the heat in our in our advantage. The heat could do us really good. Due to the fact that he's probably rocking hurricane on his tornadoes that can't really hit in the heat. Icy wind's not gonna do enough damage, and we're hoping he's bringing out Robin here. Is it Robin? Please show me Robin. Please, please. Diggers B! Why? Yo, why is this dude have Diggers B? I'm dead. It's GG's. It's GG's. It's GG's unless we can land the Sacred Fire and take this thing out one shot. Diggersby, dude. Then why did he Dynamax that Tornadus? I'm real curious about that. Let's see what he does. Icy Wind popping. Then there's the Icy Wind. Like I said, that's all you can really do. And it's not going to do like any damage to us. Actually, did a lot more than I thought it would. Did a lot more than I thought it would. And he's going to go for a Foul Play. And can we eat that? We might be able to eat a Foul Play. We cannot. We cannot eat a Foul Play. That's rough news. That's rough news. Hey. We made some good calls battle number one, but we ended up losing in the end. That's a tough one.
We started off strong there in bout number one, taking out the Kyogre and making some great reads, but we just fell apart in the end. Once that uh, Hailstorm came in on the Landorus, it was pretty much over from there. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Regiram and Ice Rider Catherix team with Tornadus, Ditto, Intimidate Landorus, and Trick Room with the Bronze, which is kind of scary because we don't really have anything that can counteract that Trick Room. So we'll see how we can do this one. We will definitely see how we should play this one. But, yo, I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory here. I'm guaranteeing you guys here a victory in battle number two. So, let's get after it. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. I might lead Ho-Oh just to kind of post a threat onto that Bronze Song. I just feel like it is really, really good. You can also go into that Tornadus and kind of get rolling from there. So, that is a little tough. It's a little tough. But I do like the Ho-Oh lead. I do indeed like the Ho-Oh lead. And let me see this thing's, uh, let me see this thing's stats real quick. I want to see this thing's stats. So, it is physical attacking. But I was going to roll out with, uh... With Grimstrong with it, but I don't know if I should. Grimstrong is just really good. You go Blastoise. Blastoise isn't too shabby here. I do like a Blastoise lead. I do like a Blastoise lead. So we're gonna lead them too. We do have fake out with it. I'm gonna bring Kiram. And last but not least, I think we gotta bring Lando. I think Lando is an absolute must. So I do like that lead. I like it a lot. If he does go on the Bronze Song, we can actually fake it out, go into Sacred Fire, chip up some big damage. If he goes into a Pokemon such as Reshiram, we can hit it with an Ice Move. Same thing with Landorus. I just like it's all in I like this lead all around. We got some bulky Pokemon. We got fake out ready to roll. Let's get after this one. Let's get after this one. But I'm upset that I lost that last battle. I really am. Because again, we started off strong. Make some great plays to take out Kyogre. But it goes into Reshiram alongside with this lovely Tornadus. Okay, so from here, I could fake out and kind of just go from there. I don't mind. I might actually do. Might actually do it. And what's Reshiram's typing? Is it part of fire? I think it's part of fire. What's it? It is. That's rough. That's rough. And it was dragon. But fire... I had a thought, but didn't really click on me. But I could go into a blizzard. A blizzard could do some work. But I feel like faking out, right? I feel like faking out and going into a straight sacred fire. Let's see what he does. He could Dynamax Resuram. He'll definitely beat a play. And he does. He ends up Dynamaxing Resuram, which is cool with that. I could have Dynamaxed a blast with that. I was thinking about it, but we have Landers and Kiram in the back. I feel like they're going to be two great Dynamax Pokemon. So he'll Dynamax and Kiram here. They hit him. And what moves is this guy rocking out with? Obviously a dragon move, obviously a fire move. And then what else? What else do we think he's cooking up? Yes, I recovered from him. You definitely see that happening. But fake out's gonna poke here. Uh chip up some damage. And what's this thing I have? An eject button? Eject button. Who's he going out into? That's the real question. That is the real question. Who are you gonna go out into? Calyrex? That'll be nice. Get off a nice little sick fire on him. Ditto! Ditto's poking out here. And he, and, yo, come on, get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face, dude. <laughs> Hate this game. Good to know our hoe outspeeds him. But we're going to chill up some damage. Give me a burn. Give me something. Give me something cooking here. Nothing. He's going to go for a worm win, and there's a dragon move. Okay. I'm cool with that. We're both, uh, well, actually, one of us is a attacker, which is my hoe. Oh, and I might swap the hoe over here. There is some damage onto us. Oh, we should be able to outspeed him, no problem. I might just drop a blizzard. I might drop a hydro cannon before we swap out here. Might be my play. But hard swap. I don't really want a hard swap. They were saying another turn. Go into Brave Bird. Do you like the bird? Do you like the Brave Bird? Actually. Well, that's what should be faster than Ho-Oh. Right? If it is, then that means we're faster on the field. Let's see, 107. No, we're not. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna Brave Bird here. And I'm just gonna go for a Hydro. I might as well, right? Might as well. Might as well try to drop it. Might as well try to drop a Hydro Cannon. He's going to end up with trolling you. And we're going straight back into a Sacred Fire. Or a Brave Bird this time. Into you. Okay, I'm with that all day. We goes into him and our Brave Bird's going to fly. And how much damage are we going to do with the Brave Bird? We are minus one, but still. Stab. Not bad. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad at all. We'll take that damage to the house. He's going to go for another Worm Wind. And make, can he go after Ho-Oh maybe? No, he takes out my Blast. So smart call by him. We always saw a lot of Dynamax turns, which I really, really like. Which I really, really like. Ho-Oh is going to go down to minus two, and I could hard swap from here. But the problem with hard swapping is, uh, we, we don't want to hard swap in, like, Kieran or something. So I could go into you. I know you outspeed everybody here. I know you outspeed everybody here. And I could guard, or I could protect that turn. Could be nice, which could be lovely. Or I can go into you and Dynamax you. They're both really good Dynamax. So I think we go into you. I really do like going into him right here. And he's going to get off a of Tailwind. We'll, we'll allow the Tailwind. Uh, I was going to say, do we protect? Mm, do we, yeah, we got to protect, right? We got to protect. We got to take out you. 
and we have to, we're gonna have to max guard here i'm gonna max guard this it's tough because he gets off this free tail one he gets off this free tail one and he's gonna go for that big dragon move on to me so i have to protect my kiramir it's an absolute muscle unless he makes a crazy hard read on us but i just don't see him doing that right i just don't see him making a crazy hard read on me. knowing that my kiram's on the field He's like, I have one last turn Dynamax. I have to throw this onto the Kiram slot. So we're going to Dynamax. We're going to set up the guard. And we're going to allow him to set up the Tailwind because there's nothing we can do about it. There is nothing we can do about him setting up a guard. So from here, we're going to do this. And then who else does he have in the back end? I'm trying to think. Who else does he have in the back end? He had Reservam and he had Calyrex. I don't mind the Calyrex. Too much. I do not mind it that much. So guard's going to fly here. Let's see what, it, what his play is from here. There's the Tailwind. Like I said, we knew that was coming all day. And we're hoping that the Dragon Move's coming into my uh, Registram or my Kiram. Yep, there it is. Worm win with a big old block. And we're going to be able to take you out with a Brave Bird. So, I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool with that. Because we are bulky now. Um, I could swap, which I'm probably going to do. I have to swap my Ho-Oh, get my attack stats back. And on top of that, get my Regenerator HP and probably get back to full. So, that's definitely going to be my next play. Hopefully, it brings out a Physical Attacker that we can just Intimidate Drop. And then we can get rolling from there. Who's he going to be? Who are you tossing? Calyrex. That thing's so... Dude, oh my god. This is so tough. Because we're dead. I, I can't swap now. I cannot swap now. I simply can't swap. I simply cannot swap. Okay. Because if we swap, we just go down to our... That uh, thingy move. We just go down straight to... Uh... Oh, what did, I do? what did I do? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to click A there. Here comes Drake Meteor. I knew we could soak that up. And is Kallax going to go next? Please don't tell me Kallax goes next. It does. Yes. That is lovely. That gives us a chance. That is lovely. Here. I did not mean to quake, though. But we'll take it all day. We'll take that quake all day. Just because I like it. Okay. So we quake. Our special defense is boosting. It's going to come down to the wire. It really is. Kiram's going to go down to... Oh, HP job. It's tough. This is going to come down to the wire, though. Because this move should take out... Uh, this Calyrex right here. And then we still have our lovely, uh, we still have our lovely, what's it called? Our Landorus with that Kira minus two on special attack. That could be big. That could be big. I did not mean to hit Max Quake, but you know what? It actually kind of worked out. It, it worked out fine. It worked out just fine. He's going to go into Ditto and he's going to have to change into Ho-Oh, which I really like. We have Rock moves. We have rock moves. <laughs> we have rock moves. Okay. And that thing is physical attacking. I do like this. And he takes our stats, doesn't he? So he... Oh, my. He takes our stats, doesn't he? Right? Imposter Ditto takes stats. Minus three. All right. Minus three, minus two. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You're only minus two, right? Lovely. All right. Cool. 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 Who posts a bigger threat? I don't even know. Maybe you? Probably you, right? Yeah, we'll Brave Bird you. We'll Brave Bird you, and I'm just going to drop a nice Rock Slizzle here. Super effective on the both. Pretty much wraps up the battle, right? He outspeeds me. Wow. Landers gonna, if he, you burn me, I'm going to cry. Cool. Oh, they have Tailwind. I'm, 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 I, what am I thinking? Do not burn me. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Let's go. No burns. Rock sliding out. Big old damage, right? Big old. Oh, my God. Ho-Oh's on one. Oh, it was on one. Brave Bird poking. Oh, my. We need Tailwind to end ASAP. Brave Bird getting off some damage. And we're going to go down to recall? Cool. We do not. Come down to wire. How many turns left in Tailwind? One. Better be one. Is it one? It is one. Okay. So, from here. Protect. What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah. We got to protect again. We got to double down on the protects here. Because if not, they outspeed us. Good old Tailwind, dude. Tailwind doing us dirty, but still. We'll double protect up. I don't like him where we're sitting. And then I believe my Lando outspeeds both. And it should be pretty much GG's from there, right? Take a fire. Block. Block. So good thing we actually did attack that turn. Actually a great thing. And luckily he did not get a burn. I would have cried a little bit. I would have cried just a little bit. But, yo. I'm liking this. Tailwind Peter's out. My boy Lando should be fast on the field. We're going to go into here. And we are going to go into this Rock Slizzle. Please, Rock Slide, do not miss. I need you here, Rock Slide. Come up, Clutch. Wait. Why is he so fast? Eat that. We eat that. Why guys so fat? Hold up. Wait a minute. We got Lumberry. Thank you very much. Rockside connects. KO. Double KO. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Lumberry. Thank you, Lumberry. Honestly, forgot about the Lumberry, but it came in clutch. It came in clutch. There it is. Why is that ho oh, out speeding us? I thought Lando would have been faster. Honestly, didn't check the speed stats, but there it is. The guaranteed victory for you guys. Sitting at one and one going into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winner record here. Going up against a Zassian Kyogre team. These guys are just best buds. They're just best buds. Oh, and it has Swiss Swim Barra Scooter. And Kartana and Indeedee and Winston. Pretty cool team. Pretty cool team. I actually was going to use a Swiss Swim Barra Scooter team for you guys today. But you know what? I chose to go with this one because I want to have some fun and use a little bit of off meta. But let's see how we can do up against this team. And it's looking tough. It's looking tough, man. Uh, Grimstar was probably going to have to be a lead. We need some sort of speed control. I think Thunders could actually do a lot of work here, so I really do like having Thunders there. Might end up leading Thunders. Could potentially be a Dynamax mod for us. Hmm. It's a Genes player. What is a Genes player? Oh my god, we have seven seconds. I definitely want you. I want Kiram, and I think Landers. I don't think Ho is going to be good at all. I do not think Ho is going to be good at all. And of course, yo, I'm looking at it. I'm sitting there, I'm like, hmm, who should we pick? And I look up, I'm like, seven seconds. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? All right. Let's get after this one. I do like the team we picked. I just don't think ho is the right call for this battle. Not at all. Not at all. So this is like a first time in a while ever since Series 12 came out where I think I left my Restricted Mon in the back end. We'll see. Go Zassi and Kyogre, and I'm cool with this. I am indeed cool with this. Definitely cool with this. Okay. Uh, there player. Scary Face Fake Out. Let's say you fake out this Zassi. We could go straight into a Wild Charge. We can die. I'm thinking of Dynamax. I really am. I really am thinking of Dynamax. Do we read a protect maybe? Do we read a protect. I'm gonna see this thing stats real quick. It's ready to go. This thing is ready to rip up. It's really fast. 79. He definitely outspeed the Kyogre. And who else did he have in the back end? Let me see. Okay. I don't with all these Pokemon that he's rolling with it, in with. I'm gonna go in with the straight up. Fake out there, and I think I'm just gonna wild charge straight across here. Let's read out what this guy's doing. Fake out coming in here. Thunder's out speed, yo, and just dump on this thing, please. This thing's choice, isn't it? We're gonna go down. Our Thunder's gonna go down here, but this could be a really good turn for us, though. Our Thunder's goes down here, but as long as we can KO, which we do not. Oh my lord. That thing's choice scarfed. That Kai Ogre is choice scarfed, but at least he's choice scarfed into a water spell now. But you might swap out from here. So from here, I could go with Lando and just change up weather with a rock move if I really wanted to. Or go into Kirim. No, we gotta go into Lando. That's so rough. That is whack. Choice Scarf Kai Ogre. Coming in big. Okay, so Choice Scarf Kai Ogre comes out. Um, Intimidate's gonna help us out here. I kinda wanna change up weather, but if he's gonna swap to Kai Ogre, that's fine. Uh, I cut Scary Face, which I think I had the Scary Face into a Max Quake here. Probably our play. And just allow him to do whatever he wants to do there. And we'll just go from here. Because again, if he's like, we know he's choice scarf. Because there's no way he's out speed of my uh my Pokemon there. Unless he's being choice scarf. So if that's the case, Water Spout is going to do no damage. We can scary face his ass in. We can pretty much just take it out in one shot here, alongside with getting a special defense. But the only scary part is him gonna be bringing out that Barrish Scooter. Because he definitely has to have Barrish Scooter in the back end. He definitely has to have Barrish Scooter in the back end. Let's see his play. What's he going for? Days in. Okay. So be scary face. Minus two on speed. Let's drop this thing. This Max Quake should go after Water Spout. Yeah, he's choice. That's easy eats for the boys. And we'll get rolling from here. That's actually great that my Grimstar survived. If we can take out the Zacian here, he's going to have to force to bring out a Pokemon and we can uh, scary face. Yeah, so Zacian gone. I'm not worried about the Kyogre anymore unless he swaps it out. That's the only way I'm scared of it. And he might swap it out, but the thing is we do have Kiram in the back end who should be able to soak up a nice little shot who should be able to soak up a shot we could go into a uh what is it even called a sandstorm here to start getting buffets around this does bring out bear scooter and i could i'm thinking of scary face that and change the weather here do i take out the kyogre i don't think i take out the kyogre i think we just scary face and we go straight into a rock ball here because with the scary face i think that uh Landorus should be faster. So he goes into Indeedy and uh, Pranks. Will Pranks work? Will this move work? I'm a little confused. I'm a little, I'm trying to think. Will this work? Will this work? First time, no, I don't think it'll work. It does not work. Dang, that's scary. That's a great play by him. 
Goes in, into Indeedy to guarantee himself that uh, Psychic Surge. Wow. What a play by him. What a play by him. Kind of just ruins everything that I wanted to do. Kind of ruins everything I want to do. And we know he's just going to go into a Geyser. He's physical attacking. He's just Life Orb probably. This thing's going to steamroll me. I think it's GG's, right? A scary face, yeah. Son of a biscuit. Good old Psychic Train. Here comes the Geyser. Can we eat this up, please, or go after Grimstrong? Let's see how this one plays. Lander Steer Damage. Yeah. yeah. God dang, dude. God dang. Third and final battle, not in our favor, dude. Great plays by him. That was really good. I think that was the only Pokemon to really really bring him in out of the situation he was in. Really great plays. Really great plays. He's got this one on lock, doesn't he? He's got this one on lock all day. Okay. So from here, I'm trying to think of what I can do. Maybe win this battle for you guys. But I knew this was going to be a tough set of battles for today's video because we're using such an off meta team. And we're going up against a bunch of strong Pokemon. But I'll go for the foul play. I will go for the freeze drive. We'll see if we can roll out here and get off some big damage. Maybe we'll get a lucky crit. Maybe we can soak up some shots. I do not really see us win this battle, though. Because Barrier Scooter is probably just going to dump up my Kirim in one shot anyway with this Geyser. It's just ridiculously strong. He goes, oh, he has Quake. He's rocking with Quake, dude. He'll be definitely dead on that, right? Super effective. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I'm with that. He wants that special defense boost. I'm surprised he didn't just go for a geyser. I mean, not very effective, but still. Still, still, still. Free shot is going to poke here and take him out. No. 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 Hey. No. Come on. I'm my face on that one. Kieran's going to drop out anyway. Dang, dude. I wish he would have picked up that KO. How much, how much damage is foul play doing? Foul play is going to come out here. Built. And okay, foul play didn't do it as much as I thought it would do. Wow, lived on one. Because I thought that uh, foul play would have done more and Grimstar had a chance to outspeed in DD, but that's not, the, that's not the case. But honestly, really close battle here considering Banner Scooter's on one, Kyogre's on one, and it's legit just an DD. But clutch move by him to go into that DD to stop the scary face and pretty much win him the battle. Pretty much win him the battle. So GG's on his side. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. Got to showcase this team to its fullest potential, but really got overpowered by the better restricted mods such as Zacian and Kyogre. But hey, I want to have some fun today. I want to use an off meta team. So hopefully you guys still did enjoy the content. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.